Oh man, I'm gonna have to rehouse them quick. But what do I even house them in? Can I house them in this? Yeah, I think I could. Only thing is, I'm gonna have to spend time making holes. Yeah, maybe I'll get something else. Maybe this will work. And I cannot even find the cover for this enclosure, so I will rehouse them in here temporarily. Never mind, I think I will just use this. I will cut a hole over here, so I'm gonna have to go buy a knife. As for this, I'll probably just use it for a torrential. I used to have my skeleton torrential in here, but I mean, I don't even know what these are. I think it's super glue, but whatever. Still will house the torrential in here. I've only had them in here for about two days and one already died. So I'm just going to give them a piece of orange while waiting, just so they'll have something to eat while we prepare their enclosure. If you're wondering what these are, they're basically just algae, but it's fine. It'll not harm the roach. I'll just give this a quick wash. Nice, they've already started to eat. Okay, since we're making an enclosure for them, we will be using something a little bit more naturalistic. Unlike the Dubias and the Turks, where we just use eight crates. Uh, this one I'm planning on doing like a proper enclosure for them. When they were in the Dubia bin, they were always in the, the frat. The, the roach poop so i'm guessing they would like some substrate so i'm just going to use a little bit of cocoa fiber not going to be very deep just something that they can move around in yeah i think something like that would be good not too deep but enough for them to bury themselves as for the eight crate replacement i'm out here looking for some bark that we can put that way the roaches can go under something like this I'm gonna have to find a few. Perfect. I will be putting them in the microwave to kill anything that is possibly in here. All right, so as you can see, there were some ants inside that died. So now we can put the bark in the enclosure for the roaches. I'm gonna be leaving this corner empty for the water dish. Also, when it comes to lobster roaches, you will need petroleum jelly and you would wanna put it along the sides because these guys are notorious for climbing smooth surfaces. A little bit dirty, but it's fine. So you wanna get some petroleum jelly and just smear it along the top part so they cannot escape. Well, at least that's what I think because I have tried this on hissing roaches and it works but I've never tried it on lobster roaches. So I don't know, hopefully it works. This is what I use for roach water. It is basically a water gel. You do not want to put standing water because the roaches will drown. So you just want to get some water gel, something like this. I'll just put it at the corner over here. And at this corner will be their food. So that is the enclosure. Let's get the roaches in. As for the lid, I have not done it yet, but I'll probably do it later. We'll get them into their enclosure first before any more dies. Hmm. Yep, that's a little baby. Oh, where'd it go? I think it went in already. Yes, we've got a lot of babies here. There you guys go, into your new enclosure. Sad, the one that died is actually pretty big. So these are all of the ones that I harvested from my dubia bin. Yep. There's a lot, and there was actually more. So, oh, look at that. Look at all those guys down there. Ooh, a lot of lobster roaches. Hopefully they breed quickly for us, and then maybe we can do a tarantula feeding video in the future with these guys. Oh no, oh no, we've got an escapee. Get in. So this is the one that died, unfortunately. There we go. A little lobster roach. Man, it's only been like a couple minutes and look at how they have devoured this orange. Crazy. Look, you can see the substrate moving. They've already started burrowing in. Nice. Hopefully they breed prolifically for us. Technically, if you think about it, I don't even need a cover because it's already petroleum jelly. And even if I have the cover, even if they were to escape, they're gonna come out regardless, you see? Because this cover does not have a lock, so it's gonna be 
much so easy for them to come out so technically i'm pretty much done i don't even need a cover maybe every so often i will just smear on some fresh petroleum jelly and should be good so that right there you guys is our new colony of lobster roaches there will be updates in the future as to how much they breed and yeah my turkistan roaches are here my dubia roaches are here and my lobster roaches are here so perfect let's see how this colony does for us as for the dead roach since it is freshly dead let's see if this guy would like a roach hey there you go eat it eat it eat yes <laughs> goodbye roach So that'll be it for today's video. Hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care. I just used my screwdriver to poke some holes in the middle. Should be good enough.